Hello, this is Gordon, crew chief for American Steam Railroad, the Reading 2100 project. Our volunteers have been very busy in the past several months on a variety of projects. One of them has been working on the ultrasound survey of the boiler. We have removed items from the back head of the boiler to help with taking these readings, along with removing sand from the sand dome so it may be lifted off the locomotive and we can access the area underneath it. The vast majority of the ultrasound survey has been completed with a very few hard to reach areas that will still need to be done. At the beginning of the year, we started the process to prepare for the welding contractors to come and weld in the stables. We went into the firebox where the flexible stables were to be welded in the inner side sheets. The metal was cleaned with wire wheeled and surface rust and dirt was removed. The stay bolts themselves were given a final cleaning along with alignment tools that were made to help with the installation process. Now Jason Johnson, one of the welders from Gemini Industrial Machine, explains the process of welding in the stay bolts. I'm Jason Johnson, Gemini Industrial Machine Group, here today working on the Reading 2100. Uh, we started this morning with a whole bunch of holes uh, in the firebox and uh, happy to say that we now have over 600 stay bolts uh, put in place, set in place where they will, uh, their final resting place per se, and will keep us uh, going for a long time. So we start with the holes, we put bolts in such as you see in my hand here. They have a ball end on this side, so they, on the outside of the firebox. We'll be able to flexible flex, uh, such as a flexible stable does, and goes in there. And then on the inside, sticking out, we went through and welded that in place. Uh, and that, uh, what we actually we tack welded them today, uh, and we will come back in the next week or two, and we will do a full weld on them. Uh, what's called a fillet weld to seal them up, and uh, then we can actually put water in this thing and, and make it go. Other work done includes a mechanical drawing that has been completed of the air cylinder that will operate the fire doors. These drawings will help greatly in the fabrication of a new one. We'd like to say thank you to the Mad River and Nickel Plate Museum for letting us borrow the one off of Nickel Plate 757 so these drawings could be done. I want to thank everyone for all their support over the last couple of months. We've had several projects that have been supported by uh, donations. And if you haven't had a chance to donate yet, you're certainly welcome to join us at fireup2100.org. We take direct donations. You can buy merchandise at our uh, store, uh, or you can come out and volunteer on our Saturday work sessions here at the Midwest Roundhouse in Cleveland. We certainly appreciate all the help everybody has given and all the donations. This is Gordon, and thank you very much for your contributions.